So we're at question 50. This is a word problem. Uh, the main things that we uh, should get from this is the rocket will fall to the ground after exploding it at its maximum height. The rocket's height above the ground is given by the quadratic function, and then this is obviously very important. It's the question is asking how long will it take for the rocket to hit the ground. So basically, the equation that they give us, we can make a sort of uh, quadratic function from it. So you have this. Uh, obviously, the rocket norm, uh, that's the trajectory of the rocket. The y-axis represents the height, and the x-axis represents the time that's passed. So at, say, about like this point right there, that is the maximum height. That's where the rocket explodes. So when it asks about how long will it take for the rocket to hit the ground, it's asking for this, uh, the positive zero of the quadratic equation. So with this equation, what we're able to do is a factor. So let's do that. First of all, you can take out 16, negative 16 from the whole equation. Uh, so you have negative 16 times x squared minus 4x because negative 16 times negative 4x is 64x minus 5. This is our equation. And uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the box method, you can always you have x squared and negative 5. And how do you get negative 5? Uh, negative 5 times 1. So then if you have negative 5x plus 1, then that's equal to negative 4x. And this is this is just a simple fact. And then so you have x minus 5, and you have x plus 1, and those are your factors. So it's negative 16 times x minus 5 times x plus 1. What we're looking at is that right there. So when you have a factor, basically you're, you're saying x minus 5 equals 0. So what you're doing now, you add 5 to both sides, and you're saying x equals 5, and that is the positive 0. So that's the answer to your question, because after 5 seconds, the, um, the rocket will hit the ground.